All right, guys, I wanted to take the time. As you can see, I have a shaitel that's a little dismembered. But today we're going to talk about um, adding some hair. And what this person did is they've been bobby pinning or safety pinning the hair to a track. And so what we're going to, and you can actually see, it looks like they tried to sew it and brought one of these tracks down. So we're going to actually just go into how to properly sew this on. So if you want to add hair to your own wig, um, at, you can do it the right way so you don't end up in a situation like this. And the first thing that we're going to do is that I have an idea of where she wants it. I'm going to take apart this piece just kind of in here and I'm gonna relay it onto one of the tracks and we're gonna start sewing from in here so I'm gonna go off camera and take this off and then we're gonna go ahead and look at where we're gonna line it up okay so the first step before we go in and do anything is we just want to get the area clean so you'll see that there's some random thread here uh, she still has clips on it um, from, I guess, when maybe she used it as a clip-in. So I just went ahead and I, I'm cleaning up this area and I'm gonna take a seam ripper, which is definitely suggested. And this is seam ripper. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take these clips off, take this hair off, be careful not to cut any of the hair. And I'm gonna actually start sewing in there and I'm gonna use uh, some black thread and a rounded needle, which you'll see next. But first I'm gonna just take these off. I'm gonna clean it up. Um, normally I would take this whole thing off, but because I know this is where she wants it and this is what she's used to, and I don't have it on her, um, I'm gonna just start from this end, sew in, and then we're gonna clean up the other half of this end. So I'll go ahead off camera. I'm gonna remove these clips, get rid of this, and start lining it up. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, it's very difficult. I've come in here and I've added the track as cleanly as possible. I would say, if you can see her, her wig cap is ripping. So I this unit, I would not make the investment to add hair here, but sometimes you just like have that wig that you love and you don't want to get rid of and I can understand it. Um, in this case, what we're getting to is where it looks like it was tacked unevenly and you can see like it kind of hanging out. So now that I've had this side lined up and pinned, and if you really can see in here, it's a blanket stitch with a knot, um, which I'm going to demonstrate towards the end. We are getting to the point where I'm going to now remove this old stitching in here so that I can kind of make it nice and clean and even like I did in here. So um, I know, again, if you're not a sewer and you don't really understand what's going on, this is just like adding a weft but with your hand to a regular, like when you're making a wig. It's the same concept, but we're just adding to the back of the wig. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna remove the old stitching and we're gonna continue on with the pattern. And if you could just get an idea, I'm pulling out a little bit. I have it also very pulled up to the front of like the, the wig head so that it's kind of stretched out and my my canvas block is really stretching out the weft so that I can get in there nice and evenly. So I'm gonna go ahead, unstitch this, and then keep going. Okay, I went ahead and stopped because as I was taking out the stitching, you see that some of the old stitches caught um, hair in here. And that's like, that's normal, it happens, but you wanna try to prevent that so that the hair is all flowing down in a nice smooth fashion again i don't really know how this video is going to come out because i feel like it's very hard and i probably should have like a phone holder so you guys could see exactly what i'm doing step by step but for starters we'll just we'll get this up and we're going to continue on this track so it's nice and even i'm going to pull this hair down and under and we're going to continue sewing on the track Okay, so I'm going to just film right now the type of stitch that we're doing, and it's really clear, or it should be really clear, where you're sewing. So we want to pin back the hair of this weft to delineate where we're going, and the hair underneath should be tucked in. I would say normally to trim this excess in between the weft, um, whoever cut the two pieces to make this didn't clean it up, but because it was already half sewn on, I'm, I'm not going to trim this up because then you risk damaging the actual weft itself. So what you're going to do is you're going to just pin it up right here and you're going to take your, your curved hook and again, 
just simply go underneath. So we're going underneath. And what I do is I actually go through the weft on one. And we, we're here and we're going to make a knot. So we're going to go in. And again, I'm holding so that there's the tension remains strong because you can see it's already falling. And I'm going to go in again behind the weft. So we're here. And I'm going to do it almost twice in the same place just because this is an everyday wig for her. And as I do this, I'm going to keep moving, moving down. So again, the hair's out of the way. And we're just going to take bit by bit. I'm going pretty slow with this because I want a more sturdy, um, sturdy hold with the stitch. And I'm doing each section, like I said, I'm doing it twice. So we're coming under, I should have done this with white string, and we're coming around and I'm pinching and holding. And I'm going to do very close to the same section again. So I'm coming, the two wefts are coming together throwing the strand over and I'm pinching. And as I move down, as you can see, I'm working on the back of a shadow head. As I'm moving down, the hair underneath is going this way and I'm folding it to match up and line up appropriately so that eventually I'll get to the end and I'll have a complete, complete closed weft and it's nice and clean. So I'll go ahead and show you guys this again in the beginning, just on a regular sheet, but this is how you should be moving. And it definitely helps to have a wig block, some pins, some extra clips around to like pin the hair back. And you wanna just work neatly and with precision to make sure that when you put the wig on your head, it lays flat and in the right direction. All right, so if you did it right, you're not going to be able to tell. Um, that it's in there there should be like no lumps and no no bulkiness um there she is and what i normally like to do is i like to feel um basically where it is in the client's head but again she had this kind of half pinned half sewn so i had an idea of where she where she wanted it and all i did was just go in and then just make it a permanent a permanent um fixture rather than having a bunch of bobby pins and some unnecessary clips so we're gonna blow dry her and style her up and she'll be on her way thanks for watching